Welcome to the channel, I hope that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up multiple buy orders and scale into an asset on the BitGet Spot Exchange. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. First things first, we need to choose some price points that we wish to place our buy orders at. So I'll go ahead and grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools. Let's maybe go ahead and mark out this little pivot point right here, something like that. Then I'll go ahead and grab another horizontal. Let's maybe mark out all this price action right in here, something like that. And then I'll go ahead and grab a third horizontal. Let's mark out this price action right here. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we need to come down to our order panel and make sure we're set to limit order. Right here in the price box is where we'll type in the price point of our first buy target. And we can see that price point correlating to that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 22,476. So we'll type that into price, 22,476. Now we need to choose the amount that we wish to purchase if price action retraces down to that level. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll use a slider bar and I'll do a 30% buy if price action gets down to that level. Now that I have this set up the way that I want it, I'll go ahead and click on buy BTC. Then we'll get our order confirmation pop-up window here, letting us know that this is a limit order as intended at a price point of 22,476. So if price action gets down to that level, we'll be placing a buy for 0.0011 BTC. If this checks out the way that you want it, you just simply click on confirm. Now you've placed your first buy order onto the order book. If price action decides to retrace from here, it gets down to this level here, that order will fill and I'll be buying my first little bit of Bitcoin. Now let's go ahead and do the second buy target. We can see that second target at 20,406. So let's come down here to the buy side of the order panel and we'll type that into price, 20,406. Then we'll choose the amount we wish to buy if our second buy target gets hit. I'll go ahead and just slide this up to 50% like so. And then I'll go ahead and click on buy BTC. Confirm the details. If things are as you intended, go ahead and click on confirm. Now you've set your second buy order onto the order book. Now I'll set my third buy target, which is this horizontal down here with a price point of 18,336. So I'll come down here to the price box and I'll go ahead and type that in, 18,336. And for this buy order, I'll go ahead and just slide this up to 100% and then click on buy BTC. Confirm the details, if it looks good, click on confirm. Now we've placed that third buy order onto the order book. If price action was to retrace, getting down to this price level right here, I'll be buying my first little bit of Bitcoin, which was approximately one third of my available capital. If price action continues from there and hits this price point here, I'll be buying my second bit of Bitcoin, which was approximately half of what remains of my available capital after this order was filled. And of course, if price action gets all the way down to this price point, I'll be making my last purchase of Bitcoin, which was the remainder of my available capital. If Bitcoin just continued to increase in price from here, obviously none of my orders would fill because price action failed to retrace down to my buy orders. Another consideration is if price action did start to retrace, filling all my buy orders, but then just continues to the downside, that would put me at a loss. So a couple considerations when choosing to scale in. To view the details of these orders, you can come down here under open orders and then click on limit orders. And here's where you'll find the details of your resting buy orders. If at any point you want to modify any of these, you can come over here on the right hand side and just click the modify button under operation. Then you'll get a little pop-up window where you can modify the price point as well as the amount that you wish to buy at that price point. Then you just simply click on confirm. I'll go ahead and just close this out. And if you want to cancel any of these, you can cancel them individually by clicking the cancel button underneath operation, or you can cancel them all at once by clicking on cancel all. I'll go ahead and click on confirm. And as you can see, I just removed all of those orders off of the order book. At the end of the day, you'll have to do your own technical analysis in order to choose price points that make the most sense for you to buy at. But that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you scale into an asset on the BitGet Spot Exchange. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty of more BitGet tutorials in the playlist on my YouTube channel for you as well. So feel free to check those out when you get some time. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.